Coming up on Around Kern County, our community's first tiny home village is officially complete. We're sharing exciting news about the impact Hope on Heart will have in Oildale. And our workforce was honored during Kern County's Employee Appreciation Week. We're celebrating the winners of the Kern Goldies Awards when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week, we're kicking off our show with a major celebration. Kern County's first ever tiny home village, Hope on Heart, is finally complete. Last week, our staff and community partners held a ribbon cutting event to celebrate the grand opening of 50 non-congregate shelter homes that will be filled with clients in just a few weeks. This facility is located in the 3rd District in Oildale and will dramatically support this community by providing a safe space for residents experiencing homelessness to access services and a second chance. Hope on Heart will be filled with staff in security 24-7 and offer amenities such as dog runs, restrooms and showers, laundry rooms and most importantly, vital mental health services. That's what this facility is intended to do here in Oildale. It's not just a place to sleep and get off the street. It is that, but it's much more. It is a facility to address all of those needs, all of those aspects for those people that are suffering in homelessness now, to give them that love and support in order to exit homelessness and get over those barriers, over those issues that are, that are in their life. This is a testament to what we can achieve when we prioritize solution-oriented government, and I can't wait to see the restoration of lives, the restoration of their humanity, and uh, turn, the, turn the tide one step at a time, one project at a time. Hope on Heart is being operated by Hope the Mission, who will work hand in hand with Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, Kern County Employers' Training Resource, and Kern Medical. We're thrilled to add another tool to our county's toolbox to combat homelessness in our community. To learn more, please visit hopethemission.org slash Kern County. March is Social Worker Appreciation Month. This meaningful campaign is led by our Kern County Department of Human Services in recognition of their more than 400 social workers making a difference across Kern County. Last year alone, these hardworking and caring professionals investigated more than 4,000 referrals of suspected child abuse, worked to finalize 218 adoptions, and aided in the reunification of 383 children with their parents. Our social workers are truly unsung heroes, and we are honored to celebrate their achievements. If you would like to leave a lasting impact on our community, you can apply now to join their team. Right now, Kern County is hiring social workers. Just visit kerncounty.com slash careers to get started on your application. You can also learn more about this meaningful campaign and follow along by checking out Kern County's Department of Human Services on social media or visiting their website at kcdhs.org. And speaking of celebrating our employees, Anna Marie Odo has a recap of the Kern Goldies Awards. Recently, we celebrated our nearly 8,000 person workforce in honor of Employee Appreciation Month with a very special ceremony. The purpose of the Kern Goldies was to motivate, recognize, and reward exemplary performance that supports the overall organizational goals of Kern County. The nomination categories included outstanding leadership, customer service, workforce excellence, exceptional teamwork, and sustained effort recognition. From child support to the behavioral health team to the sheriff's office, several departments and staff were nominated and awarded, and we want to thank those involved for helping make this event a success. Congratulations to all Kern Goldies winners. We appreciate your servant heart and leadership. With our recent time change, we can finally say it's starting to feel like spring. And in honor of the longer days, Kern County Public Works wants to help you get ready for the new season. They're hosting an upcoming Bulky Waste Collection event on Saturday, March 16th at the Lamont Branch Library from 8 in the morning until 12 noon. Residents can get rid of unwanted household bulky items such as appliances, mattresses, and barbecue grills. 
This event is in partnership with the Cesar Chavez Environmental Corps and Lamont Sanitation. You can find out more information about what items are considered bulky waste and view other upcoming drop-off events at kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.